cage for hours. Please. Greetings and salutations, this is Cage's Kiss, the ultimate cage cast where we discuss each of the National Treasure's cinematic masterpieces and his life. We also try to glean whatever kernels of wisdom we can from his character that week. I am Donnie, and I am gone in ten seconds. I am Adrian, but you can call me Eleanor. (laughs) My name is Linda, but you can call me The Cheese. And today, we discuss Gone in 60 Seconds, a film where a dashing duo of daring degenerates find, fetch, and flee 50 cars in three days of hijinks, explosions, racist cops, gang violence, and a near-sex scene in a car between Nick Cage and America's Crypt Keeper, Angelina Jolie. (laughs) Safely (laughs) PG-13. I was with Billy Bob! (laughs) And don't forget, this week we're joined by our guest, the ghost of H.B. Haliki. Whoa! No. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Oh God! <laughs> oh, the cool! HB Buy Hulk. my book, <laughs> Linda. <laughs> I need you to do fifty podcasts in three days. Can you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Just record me taking a piss and stuff. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Adrian's piss cast coming next month. <laughs> well, you know, when you're in there, you got the reverb, so you got to sing, right? You know, <laughs> is it called I'm taking the piss? <laughs> We're bringing Adrian back for one more. Are you more taking boost. the piss then? Yeah. <laughs> you're giving up. <laughs> oh, uh, god damn. So. Yeah, this is the first movie in uh, the 2000s. Uh, Welcome to the future. I thought you were going to say his Darkness trilogy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, it, it's also the last year of the 20th century, if you're going with Ain't actual no time. And it's one of the most gone. useless years ever. 2000 was a big pile of shit. Starting in 1975, it was everybody's all like, oh man, 2000, that's going to be neat. Yeah, it's going to be the age of Aquarius. It's going to be bitching. Yeah, it's going to be real bitching. Yeah. Remember that time where we had that like um, Armageddon situation with like Y two K and we all died. Yeah, we all oh, died. Yeah. yeah, no, and then we. Uh, yeah. And uh, but our uh, fearless leader uh, GWB was uh, like uh, you know like no we'll save a uh, grain you know like freeze it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like freeze it. Really Thank good. God. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> thank uh, George. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, this is another Cage remake. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah. There, there are many of those. Did you guys watch the original? I have it piece on now. Shit? No, I've seen it. I've seen it a couple <sighs> of times, and it's not really a movie so much. It's no, a, no. It's a this, series of events. Yeah, it's it's this indie film by this guy who had a bunch of cars and liked stunt driving, you know, and had some friends who had some cars and they liked stunt driving. H. B. Haliki. He made a whole bunch of movies like that in the seventies. And then he died during one of them. Um, you know, God rest. And his he soul. loved like re- like uh, doing the those scenes with like the voiceover. Uh, th- well, I'm, no, I'm pretty sure that's because uh, syncing dialogue is actually pretty hard, <laughs> ah. especially back then. You know, when you had to use movieolas and shit. You know, there wasn't any software for it. So th- there's th- people do speak on camera. It's actually not nearly as clumsy as some things like the creeping terror or uh, or fucking the beast of Yucca Flats. Or that oh. slasher movie that Doris Wishman, Doris Wishman made, the one where she does all the sound effects with her mouth, too. Was that a porno? No, yeah, but I saw it, that it one. would have improved oh, if God. it had been a porno. Um, yeah, um, no, but uh, but uh, uh, in in that one, like, yeah, for, for to, it's like it's like very early talkies from like 1928. It's, it's preserve the illusion. A lot of dialogue is off camera. Was that one of the sound effects, Donnie? I should have ridden my horoscope this morning. <laughs> and uh, Haliki stars in that one too, I think. Even 
Uh, you know, now, uh, despite all the numerous problems of the fact that the 1974 Gone in 60 Seconds is an amateur production, it doesn't really have any real actors in it, and those the people in it are amateur filmmakers, I yeah. still think it's better than the 2000 Gone in 60 Seconds for a number of reasons. Uh, no, number one being that the 2000 Gone in 60 Seconds was all made by professionals who had made multiple movies and should have known better mm. than to have made that movie. And, uh, you know, in the 1974 one, uh, Eleanor... Is that really cool yellow and black 1973 Mustang? Oh, yeah. And I, I, you know, not to diss the 67 Mustang, but the one that they have in the film with the fiberglass body, you know, it's like obviously like been all souped up and shit. There's nothing vintage on it. It's just some car guy's wank job, you know, and it's Mm. like, no, that's no, that's that's just sick. Fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) I would have stolen the Himikuda, though. Yeah. All, Just so I could play Phantasm. But, but really, in the 74 one, all the cars are cooler. Because not only are they stealing yeah. classic cars, mm-hmm. they're stealing sweet concept cars, like THX 1138 type cars. Yes. You know, and it's like, those things are fucking boys. <laughs> yeah, they're not fiberglass pussmobiles. Plus, but... <laughs> uh, finding drugs in the car actually becomes a point of contention between characters, and the one of them rats the other one out to the cops. That's why the final chase happens. Oh, you mean it wasn't like this, where it was just for one scene where they could all laugh? Yeah, and... you, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, yeah. No, Duvall in... can say, "Hey, my son's got a part in this movie to play. I want you to do something." In the, with in the Jerry Bruckheimer uh, uh, Gone in sixty seconds, uh, no, there are basically no consequences except one guy kind of gets his arm grazed yeah yeah you know actually there were like three actors with the last name duvall but they weren't related you know, oh, i'm really glad you brought up were. james duvall actually because he actually uh, uh james duvall is freb we see him do a lot of gay stuff in gregor rocky movies because he was in yeah. nowhere oh. and he was in the doom generation with rose mcgowan and he oh. was also in may by lucky mckee which, which, yeah. which is awesome and uh and he was also in some totally overrated mainstream movies by like roland emmerich and richard kelly but i'm not going to say the titles of those because fuck those movies yeah can i just like mention his name is freb not fred it's freb yeah, well, like, no what the fuck? no because this movie thinks it's cool so everybody uh has names like uh mirror man yeah. Sway yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and no. crash override and acid burn. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Zero cool. Zero cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this 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 movie is so down there. This this movie is so simple, Jack, that it makes hackers look good. <laughs> It really is, though. I mean, basically, like two thousands version of hackers. I mean, yeah, it's yeah, kind well, of trying. So this this was a uh, the director here is Dominic Santa, um, who mostly did music videos for Janet Jackson. Mostly, <laughs> um, yeah, mostly. Uh, but he followed this up almost immediately with Swordfish. Yeah, with uh, oh. John Travolta <laughs> and Halle Berry getting famous by burying all and uh, freaking uh, Wolverine. You know, um, yeah, and. Uh, Swordfish Oof. is very, very bad. Uh, it's very, very similar to this movie, um, except it's <laughs> it's it's the guy's elite hacksaw. He's instead of being a instead of being a car driver, uh, and he gets to see Halle Berry's tits. Yeah, and in that one, uh, they they shot the whole bank heist thing. That's the wraparound in my hometown of Ventura. So I got I was on set oh. while they were doing part of that piece of shit. So I actually got nice. to see Travolta and Dominic Sain in the same day, and Dominic Sain is there smoking his Cuban cigar, you know, wearing his black shirt, being like, oh, "I'm a director." Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he did California with a K girls. with Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> you guys saw California with a K, right? With the Brad Pitt. Yes. Yeah. 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 And uh, it had Agent Mulder. Um. But we, since you were talking about uh, sons acting, they we do get Scott Kahn. Yeah, I, I like. I've always liked him, uh, even though he, he's sort of weirdly proportioned. Um, yeah. Um, but uh, I, I I feel really bad because in this one he claims to have invented the stranger. Yes. And it's That's like right. no, nobody <laughs> invented the stranger, man. Come on. Mm. But he told her that. <laughs> I, I, you know, until he shows He's me doing it on camera, I don't believe he did it. <laughs> He's a jack off genius. <laughs> jack off genius. <laughs> He's number one. Uh, <laughs> Dominic Santa also directed uh, White Out with Kate Beckinsale, which no one saw. And he directed another Nicolas Cage movie, Season of the Witch. Oh, oh buddy. Ooh, yeah. I think um, I actually fell asleep or passed out during that movie. During season season well, I, I mean, a lot of people did because it didn't have Michael Myers in it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah what the fuck was that? <laughs> shut up. Those robot guys were cool. You shut your mouth. 
<laughs> Stonehenge. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> uh, no, the third channel. Um, Shut it off. <laughs> <laughs> We uh, should mention that the budget was ninety million dollars. The budget for this was ninety million, and it made two hundred and thirty-seven million. So it is well below actually wow. the profit margin from the other Cage Bruckheimer movies. Because the 90, 1996 <laughs> through ninety seven Cage was like thoroughly like you know tripling the budget, like raking raking in that dough. Yeah, yeah. And this is not that. Um, but actually, this so this opened June 9th, two thousand, and. Uh, one of the reasons it opened at number one is that it really didn't have any competition. <laughs> I, w- I went to Box Office Mojo. There was almost nothing else actually opening that weekend. Um, it went up against stuff like Dinosaur and Gladiator in like their fourth and sixth weeks. And oh, yeah. wow. Mission Impossible 2 and Shanghai Noon. <laughs> but everything else Gladiator. that opened that week was like was like independent stuff you'd never heard of. Was Gladiator the one with Joaquin Phoenix? Yeah, yeah, that, that uh, yeah. piece of shit by Ridley Scott. The one where yeah, they yeah. built a lot of sets for several hundred million dollars without having a script or a name for the main character. Yeah. As you do. Yeah. So th- this, mm. this is further proof that 2000 was just a slow year in general. That movie, with everything wrong with it, won Best Picture. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, sure. 2000. Just wipe your ass with it. It's worthless. Yeah. <laughs> and that, that's the, uh, the motto we ended up going with, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you guys remember but- Chi McBride? Yes. Yeah, he used to exist. <laughs> and he was in this movie. He's totally in this movie. He's in this movie. So, with a dumb hat. Who's going to break this down? Uh, Do we even need cars, it? It's pretty simple. Cars go real fast. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, cars like, go real fast. I mean, just like the. the, uh, the <laughs> like this. Zoom. The overly simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just glide. <laughs> I did it for the cars. The cars, like, <laughs> wanted to get plucked. <laughs> and somebody's like why do you call the cars by girls names like oh that's a code for the walkie talkie it's like yeah but that doesn't really answer the question of why you call the cars by girls names you pervert because every car wants to get fucked <laughs> <laughs> so I actually do have a name for my car but I decided that my car is a boy my car's name is Akpo wow yeah mine's a boy too our, our car yeah. should uh, hang out yeah. my car's <laughs> name is Mancelot. <laughs> so uh linda you probably knew that nicholas cage attended three stunt driving schools in preparation for this movie vroom, vroom. yeah including the uh bobby Orr uh stunt driving school which i was disappointed with because i thought it was going to be the 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 hockey player bobby Orr. no not so no, much not like that bobby not so much. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby or and or <laughs> so um we we have we have a we have some repeat credits uh on this one uh from from some previous endeavors uh because mm-hmm. we have a Bruckheimer veteran on board this movie um this the this screenplay was shat by Scott Rosenberg Ooh. who wrote Con Air well how to do <laughs> and uh did that uh, 2018 piece of shit Venom yeah. Venom. And Kangaroo Jack. <laughs> and the 1998 thing, Disturbing Behavior. And oh, uh, like yeah. I said before, somehow he was one of the four writers on High Fidelity. I'm just going to assume that's a Writers Guild kind of thing and they didn't actually use anything he wrote because that movie was good and the other ones just really, really aren't. We can hope. Yeah. Well, supposedly J.J. Abrams helped punch the script for, uh, punch it up for uh, for this Which is hilarious uh, because Rosenberg actually works as a ghostwriter quite a lot, too. <laughs> it's like, wow, man, you need somebody else to ghostwrite your shit. Maybe you just suck at everything. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Uh, so uh, this is about a year before the more successful The Fast and the Furious. With, with the Vin Diesel yeah. and the Paul Walker. Uh, and the Fast and the Furious is also a remake of an earlier title, but not an actual, but not actually of the film. They licensed the title from the 1955 John Ireland, Roger Corman movie, The Fast and the Furious. Hmm. But in that one, it's not about like this, this group of like, you know, like criminals, you know, in honor among thieves. It's about one guy who's on the run and has to take a lady hostage and there's a lot of car chases. Yeah. And that one's all about family. <laughs> <laughs> you break your heart, I'll break your neck. <laughs> I live my my time. Oh, but this movie also has Michael Pena as uh, Ignacio, the the guy who's like talking about them being on on his turf. Oh, and, oh, um, and one of those uh, really uh, 
one of those one of those scenes. Not racist gang yeah, scenes. Yeah, 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 wait, yeah. Wait, 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 yeah. There's a lot of not racist scenes in this week's movie. Oh god, um, no, dude! It fucking starts with like a an a almost starts with a McBride. Asian ladies can't drive. Right. He, Joe. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he's a DMV fuck? instructor, and it's like it's like it's like you can't maintain speed, honey. You can't drive. I can't swim. So I just my black ass out the pool. <laughs> Did I mention I'm black? <laughs> Yeah, they even bring her back later in the movie yeah, for yeah, another yeah, dad. She's like, like see, she's still trying. If somebody's following too closely, you drive faster. That's how it works. <laughs> uh, yeah, this uh, movie's kind of racist as fuck. You know what else is in this movie, don't you, Doctor? What's I in do. this movie? Yeah, yeah, the Christopher <laughs> Eccleston Doctor, huh? <laughs> because the the villain yes. Raymond Kalitri is is Christopher Eccleston. It was it was Doctor Who for a while. And supposedly he hated the script so much that he gave a shit performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he it shows. Well, no, he, he tells the <laughs> he tells everybody he was shit in it. Apparently, he was also an Elizabeth. Um, yeah, no, th- he's he's apparently mm. this big villain. Yet he basically only has two scenes, like maybe two and a half. Yeah, and it's a villain. I really, from the first time I saw this, this is one of the things that always got me. It's like you have this literally tacked on afterthought villain, and they're like, oh, we got to give him a gimmick. Oh. People yeah. call him the carpenter, and they call him the carpenter because he's a fucking carpenter. Because <laughs> he's a fucking carpenter. And he's like, yes. he's like, he's like, you know what? Metal's ugly. It's boring. Yeah, wood. It's provided by nature. It's beautiful. I made a coffin. <laughs> I'm implying I might put your brother in the coffin. <laughs> I'm bigger than Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 uh, and in that scene, like in most scenes, uh, Cage is like, oh, keep talking. I'm not really in this scene. <laughs> Well, I I do love Eccleston, um, and I, I'm a huge I, I Doctor Who I appreciate Junior, the fact but... that he hates this movie. He does rise in my estimation for that. Yeah, yeah. yes, <laughs> it is pretty shit movie. But um, Michael Pena, the one I I, I was talking about earlier, is he related he's, to uh, Elizabeth Pena? I don't know, I but I do her. know that he's uh formerly from uh the band Nico Vega, which is an awesome band, and. Uh, uh unfortunately he's also in uh both ant-man movies and um i was really really excited to see that um because i'm a huge fucking boingo uh, oingo boingo nerd like just like huge because you're only and (laughs) i found out that bodie elfman is in this uh danny elfman's cousin he plays uh fuzzy frizzell there was a character called fuzzy (laughs) frizzell Yeah, yeah, he was the informant. We mentioned British people, so I think I should only let you know that Delroy Linda was born in London in 1952. (laughs) (laughs) He was, though. Delroy fucking Lindo, the Spike Lee veteran. You know, he was in Get Shorty, and then he was in some real shit. Like, he was in The One with Jet Li and The Core. The One. (laughs) But he was also in Tony Scott's Domino, which I thought, you know, like, well, Mm. I think people underrate that one. I, I liked it. But the, yeah. the, this had an amazing cast. No, yeah, no, I, this, I just... this thing is a gigantic, gigantic cast of people who yeah. are being completely, completely wasted. It had an amazing cast and Angelina Jolie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was there too. She's like, hey guys, I hear you're actors. That's real neat. <laughs> you needed a vag in this sausage fest. Here I am. Yeah. <laughs> My husband's an actor. <laughs> <laughs> You mean my husband, father? <laughs> um, Come at us, brittle bitch. <laughs> we can her. Speaking of husband, fathers, Timothy Oliphant's in this. Yeah. Yay. He was born in 1968. His sister, his daughter. Um, and he was in <laughs> shit like The First Wives Club and Scream 2 and Go. And he was also in one of the worst movies ever made. He, Phantoms? He, <laughs> he, well, he was in the 2007 Hitman. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Worst ever. Yeah. He is also in Deadwood. Or and, as and uh, our friends. Yeah. yeah, as yeah. our friends in, uh, for your reference, uh, call it Daddy Wood. Uh, <laughs> and ooh. don't you forget the actor who only has one facial expression. Because this movie stars <laughs> Will Patton as that late. And yeah. Will Patton, well, he was in Armageddon, and he played the villain in the bloated Kevin Costner epic, The Postman, where he has to tell Kevin Costner that he's really good at doing Shakespeare. Right, Postman. Right, Postman. <laughs> right. 
Which means that for one of our future bonus episodes for uh, One Degree of the Cage, we get to watch The Postman. Oh, man. I've already <laughs> blown four hours of my life on that goddamn turd. Right? <laughs> uh, speaking of turds, Giovanni Rabisi, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Aww, He's, he, I like Giovanni He plays uh, Cage's brother. He's a real square cat because he was born in 1974. Uh, apparently, he's a big old Scientologist. Uh, he was in Wes Craven oh, no. Presents Mind Ripper. That, that's what he started out with, <laughs> okay. which I actually saw this week, along hey. with Wes Craven Presents Don't Look Down. And Mind Ripper is not good, but it's still better than Gone in 60 Seconds. Yeah. Uh, and to his credit, he was in David Lynch's Lost Highway. And, yeah, yeah, he was. And he was also in The Postman. <laughs> Jesus. He plays that. one of the hooligans. He's like random. He's like hooligan oh. number 20 or something. You know? <laughs> How many souls did that movie ruin? Yeah, yeah no, it's a, it was it was pretty much an employment program. I'm pretty sure an entire state's population is in that film. Yeah. He also played Phoebe's brother in Friends. Mm. Oh, I was trying to be nice, but man. His yeah. character in this movie is he? Um, he had a is he special? <laughs> no, it's no, yeah, he's 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 fucking he's fucking Cage's brother, and he's just he's just an awful piece of shit. <laughs> Cage is like, well, and a real so fucking dumbass. I moved away so you wouldn't get into crime. Well, hold on. You can't say he's entirely a dumbass because his brother in the beginning of the movie led the cops to them in a stolen car. And Nick Cage kind of did the same thing almost with his stolen car, too. That's true. Yeah, no, in the, well, I'd it like just to point out the that in the H.B. Heliki original, uh, um, the, the, he, he wrecks the first Eleanor, right? And so he takes it to a yeah. car wash, and there happens to be another <laughs> lady there with the same car, and he's like, hey, we need to rewash this. Let me just take this from you. And then he drives off in her car, <laughs> and then a guy who looks like he's disguised, because the original, they play a little smarter. They're wearing disguises. And so there's a guy who looks like he's disguised who gets arrested with the car. <laughs> yeah. And then there's this weird uh, gag about a bunch of stoners driving around. I don't, I, I couldn't quite, fi- and I could never figure out the ending of the original. Really, I'm like, why does it stop there? Well, Maybe I'm thick. I don't know. This was the first time I've seen this movie, so I can't say much about it except it really was horrible. Yeah, it's terrible. It was my first time watching it too, and but like, okay, here's the thing: Giovanni Ribisi's character Kip. He in the beginning he gets he brings the cops there because he decides that his tool that he's going to use to break in to to steal the car is a well, brick through the it window wasn't the brick that did it and it wasn't driving out through the glass it was actually they weren't they weren't doing so badly but then he then he hits on this girl in this other car with her boyfriend decides to street yeah. race with them that's what really does yeah. it because that's what yeah. brings them to the attention of the police so he's just a, he's just a turd he's just awful and then like the, the 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 police helicopters and the police cars are chasing him and he's just like I'm going to go back to the warehouse with all the other cars. <laughs> do, do, yeah, do, yeah do. I'm not going to park and evade capture. Yeah. Um no. But by, by the way, uh, I'd really like to point out that uh I mean um uh, the, the this movie has one of the worst soundtracks I've ever heard in my entire life. You're not wrong. It's it, it, <laughs> it's it's just it's just like every scene. It's like this scene's extra special. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Y'all gonna make yeah. me go all out <laughs> up in here. Up in here. <laughs> you need a oh, robot. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I didn't know. <laughs> right, right, right. It's like, it's like I guess you, you ran out of time to get a goddamn soundtrack. You fucking say. I mean, it's two thousand. Music was was at a pretty low place, like it is now. But, uh, but damn, uh, damn, yeah, yeah, damn, damn. damn. <laughs> I wish I was your lover. <laughs> and we have another Trevor Rabin score, which is somehow even worse than the previous one. Somehow, um, I yeah. guess, really quickly, uh, now that we're so many minutes in, we should say that. Okay, so, uh, Giovanni Ribisi's character, uh, gets, uh, his whole crew, uh, he gets their, their stolen cars discovered by the cops because he's a dumbass. And, uh, then, uh, Ecclestein's character was just like, you owe me cars, boo! And, and, and he's and, like, the devil came ba- down to Long Beach. Yeah. Which yeah, is yeah, one yeah. of the worst lines of dialogue I ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> 
and he uh he gets uh Patton's character to go uh get uh Rabisi's brother uh Nick Cage Memphis Reigns <laughs> although they call him Randall at some point yeah, right yeah. Um, he's, got, he's got a bunch of names you know yeah, I, who yeah. knows what I it. am Grim Shadow, said Grim Shadow, and I have come to rule hard. <laughs> <laughs> I go by so many names. Yeah. <laughs> He's known by Maldeed. <laughs> His Randall flag. <laughs> He has forgotten the face of his father. Um, <laughs> his water will not be part of the trough. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so he comes down and, uh, oh no, Ecclestein put his brother Kip in a car that's going to be uh, smushed in the, the I basically the dumpster. have crushed him. Do you agree to come along with me and steal cars? <laughs> yeah that's pretty much it that was kind of eerie that was like so good um and and uh so now he's got to steal 50 cars in three days or some shit yeah and yeah. vinnie jones and then uh he assembles his uh racist crew and he's like well i need a hot chick hey Hey Angelina Jolie, hey, what are you doing? Who would so totally not have been my girlfriend because that would be eerie. <laughs> <laughs> hey Cage, you like my grandpa? Oh, ex boyfriend, got it. I'm not gonna <laughs> do it till I do it. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, boosting cars is so hot. <laughs> What's better, boosting cars or sex? Let's do both. <laughs> <laughs> I'll swallow your soul. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think these here lips? <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> hey don't she, knock the big lips. <laughs> she really is a living Skeksis. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Cage, I want your essence. <laughs> <laughs> Trial by bone. <laughs> uh, mercy. Uh, movies we should have watched instead. But the most important yeah. part is that goddamn Boo Radley's in this movie. THX 1138 yeah. himself. Fucking yeah. Robert Duvall, goddamn it. Fuck you all. Yeah. <laughs> It's a waste of a good Duvall. It is, well, yeah, but so are most of the movies he's made this century. <laughs> I'm the oldest one here. I got to be the one with the wisdom. Y'all got to listen to me now. God, there's a Duvall. <laughs> he was born in 1931, and he ain't dead yet. <laughs> they called him the Yoda of the group. Yeah, he's got much. some popsicles right here in his pocket. <laughs> y'all oh. don't be a stranger now <laughs> don't be teasing me y'all <laughs> I never wanted anyone like this <laughs> so uh, when he was talking about Nick Cage Jerry Bruckheimer said quote Nick is a wonderful actor. He's got pathos. He's got humor. He can be very serious. He can be very tough. He's got all the goods that we needed for this movie. So mm -hmm. he can be very uh, tough, guys. Okay, okay what's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could. We, God, you know, we shouldn't even tell people this, but we don't start our podcast until we've listened to Lowrider. Uh, you have to do it every time. You know, you know what? You guys don't know what you're listening to Lowrider. I'm listening to Spill Wine, Take That Pearl. Fuck y'all. <laughs> you know, fuck you. I'm listening to Deep Throat. <laughs> I'm listening to the Teachers of Peaches. This really blew my mind. An overfed, long-haired, leaping gnome starring in a Hollywood movie. <laughs> Actually, because it's October, we were listening to Madman Mars. That's what we've been doing. <laughs> Oh, dear. Actually, before this, I was literally listening to a Galaxy of Terror. Fuck you, right? Oh, wait, speaking of Galaxy of Terror, Grace Sabrisky plays the mother of Nicolas Cage and Giovanni Ribisi. Yeah. Yes. Grace Sabrisky yeah. back from Wild at Heart. Yay. Yeah. Yay. But she's not in here for very long. Yeah, she's, no. she's in a scene and she's in some photographs. Like, I need to yeah. go. My people need me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and shit. I've got to say, like, those photographs that play in the opening credits, Jesus Christ. Like, I could have done a better Photoshop. It's, it's just like the ones in Deadfall. <laughs> 
It's like, yeah, oh, dad was a twin. Hey, look, uh, it's it's two James Coburn from 1966s thrown on this photograph of this lady. Colorized by Ted Turner. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They may as well have gotten like like pictures of the rock and just put like Nick Cage's face on there. <laughs> like, right, see, it's folks, totally so, him. So uh, critic critics weren't so on board with this one. I can't imagine why. Um, <laughs> um, and one of the criticisms was Dominic Santa's direction. Uh, and uh, I I I uh, you know there's a lot of things wrong. Obviously, uh, like all the uh, real dumb, obvious, like possibly improvised cool quote-unquote funny quote-unquote dialogue uh and then there's the unquote. fact that uh santa uses color gels for like every shot so it's like it's daytime in mm. la it's gonna be brown now <laughs> you're not wrong uh, it's, 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 uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of grunting <laughs> did you have something to share linda uh, are you talking about my close off sequence or <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm talking about being in the hood, which we be robbing. <laughs> oh, 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 um, Vern Troyer. No, uh, that, that's a, that's another one. Um, <laughs> Did you say Vern Troyer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vern Troyer. He would have been great as Actually. Randall Rains. <laughs> Oh, well, I've fact. got an idea for, um, I've got some ideas for Face Off, but we'll save them. We'll save them. Um, I would like to to tell y'all about a little podcast. Uh, it's our friends, uh, the Bingeables podcast. Uh, now, bear with me. I've had a, a, a little drinky poo or two or three, maybe. Oh, God. I'm <clears> gassy. <throat> Are you a geek looking for a TV-centric podcast? I know I am. Give the Vengeables podcast a try. Co-hosts and partners in crime, Chen Lin and Isaac, are geeks who love to watch TV and recommend the Vengeable ones. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> There's so many shows out there. Sometimes you need a little hand in trying to figure out what to watch next, like right? For so, for like <laughs> <Vern Trier. laughs> Uh, the Benjamins podcast dives deep into the episodes of shows like Disenchantment, Firefly, and more. Uh, I was just listening to their uh, What We Do in the Shadows. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, stick around on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, and all your top podcast platforms for the next show to binge. And you can follow on Twitter at BingeablesPod to engage in the conversation. Engage. Engage. Check them out. They're pretty awesome. You're all great, hot. <laughs> <laughs> he, you know, that captain was hot. <laughs> Captain Picard. Oh, he subscribes with Picardy in there. <sighs> <laughs> the card cast. It's <laughs> our next one. Oh, I'm sure there is one. After the cave cast. I uh, really like the Nick his uh, minute long cameo in Wild Geese 2, where he plays an uh, East German general. I like the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like Ferusha Balk in Return to Oz. Mm -hmm. Hey. Who doesn't? You know what I do not like? The 2000 Return version of, of, of Gone in 60 Seconds. It's gone in 60 fucking seconds. Yeah. Oh, it's like, so... it's cold up here on this roof. I'm black. Black people are tropical. I'm going to smoke weed. Yes. That, that's pretty much and, actual dialogue. I mean. You know. And pretty much, I'm black. I can't swim. So I don't go in pools. <laughs> Mercy. Yeah. But I have barbecues yeah, it's, it's in red racist, cars. you guys. And sir, yes, hot dogs. Because that's young. healthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would not recommend this fucking movie. Uh, yeah, don't anybody. watch it unless you really hate yourself, or unless you're a lot on a lot of drugs. Or other races. I don't know. Maybe we can save it by doing our cage cast and by recasting the movies. Oh well, you know that's, that's a hot ticket. You know, well, I are you saying we should get into face off? Maybe, yeah. I mean, there's no clothes off in this movie. No, because it's a goddamn PG-13 movie. This is it's kicking off the era of stupid-ass pussy PG-13 action movies. Nobody ever said shit or fuck ever again in an action movie. Thanks a lot, assholes. And I yeah. would just like to repeat one of the words that Adrian just said. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, that is my close-off segment. Uh, was that the word our... our, our episode was brought to you by <laughs> yes the magic word today is pussy this movie feels like 60 razor blades up your ass
<laughs> oh my. Uh, there were two people getting down to business, but that's it. No nudity, unfortunately. And you have a simulated audio sex scene. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, it sounds like you're really busy right now. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. for no reason at all. I'm going to lapse back into Jimmy Stewart cage and maybe a little bit of old cage for you. Sneak preview. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He got it. He kind of got into his uh, his uh, vampire's kiss character uh, in the, the the when he's talking to the, the, the car dealer. Oh, God. It, it, yeah, it's like Saturday night oh. is the loneliest night of the week for me. I'm, I'm Roger to <laughs> yeah. Two Rogers don't make a right. Ha ha ha. Uh, tacked on after the fact you know it brother that's what this scene is <laughs> <laughs> a guy could do a lot worse throwing his lot in with a couple of space wolves <laughs> <laughs> you're stuck here <laughs> Jesus. I like the part where uh, Vinnie Jones tries to kill Cage with a forklift. Yeah, that oh, was yes. pretty epic. <laughs> we need to to mention that. Yeah, fucking Vinnie Jones is in this, and he's a character. He's all up in this bitch. Who never speaks until the end of the movie. It's like a gag or some shit. We need to yeah. mention when Michael Bay snuck on set and suddenly he's like, "You need a giant propane tank to start going whoosh." Yeah, 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 yeah. Start <laughs> in a steel wrecking yard. <laughs> apparently, there's flamethrowers just going all the time. Just like yeah. in Alcatraz. <laughs> yeah, apparently <laughs> wrecking yards and shipping places are death traps where fucking wrecking balls are just swinging freely right, yeah, at all yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, do you feel okay because you just went through a wall? <laughs> yeah, they, they and of course, have taken this, the fight uh... scene to inside the ship and, you know, have like moving platforms, <laughs> you know, and stuff like that and fire and like maybe like a big, yeah. like metal, rusty uh... robot head coming down, you know, whatever the yeah, fuck. If, if this was made today, it would be made. <laughs> like fast and furious where they're basically fighting with their cars and going up and down the sides of buildings yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. well the big stunt in this was where reigns jumps the uh the the truck with the ramp and yeah. uh that was filmed on the vincent thomas bridge which is where tony scott jumped to his death in 2012 tony scott uh, yeah, tony, yeah. Scott? No, tony scott's like well that movie died here i suppose i will too <laughs> <laughs> I, I love you tony Aww. scott r.i.p tony scott we he love made you the hunger god damn it <laughs> hell yeah he did <laughs> and he made good jerry bruckheimer movies like crimson tide and top gun oh tony scott tony scott is always with us <laughs> fuck you Ridley. he is r.i.p <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah fuck you ridley if I didn't make that come before, back tony fuck you, ridley <laughs> God took the wrong son. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Unlike the uh. Phoenix Twins. Aww. Aww. <laughs> the Asphalt Twins? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the Phoenixes. Uh, 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 God uh, damn. Uh, come so at us, Ridley off. Scott. <laughs> face off. Oh, yeah, but so, oh, well, so Donnie. Well, I, I already did a face off for the car. <laughs> yeah. uh adrian who, who do yeah, you have so for face I, off? I i feel uh like uh their concept was fairly sound for a certain demographic they were just employing the wrong type of cast for it so i feel mm. like uh you know since since uh memphis reigns here is you know this this uh kind of you know goofball guy you know having kids drive around in his driving school and their little uh oh, yeah. golf cart uh you know uh gas powered cars and stuff like that i feel like this should have been another vehicle for carrot top hey <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, and bring back a... between that and chairman of the board You're right yeah just bring back courtney <laughs> thorne smith instead of angelina jolie because courtney thorne smith at least looks like a human Wait, yeah. are we talking about Carrot Top before he got swole or after? Oh, hey, if he's swole, that's fine, too. You know, that way you could actually okay. have uh, clothes-off scenes, you know, except, you know, they'd be goofy <laughs> clothes-off scenes, you know, like... <laughs> With props? And be like, oh, hey, Courtney <laughs> Thorne Smith. Oh, man, my arm, I could barely lift it. I've, like, lifted a thousand of these, you know, and it's like, it's not like a regular weight, you know, it's, like, got extra stuff on it and hubcaps and, you know, maybe a chain, you know, like a toaster's in it. Don't mind my bone! <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> And, and 
you know, uh, in, 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 instead of uh, having a generic British villain, you'd probably bring in somebody who's slumming it. Like, you might actually have James Con in there, you know? Hey. James Con. Yeah, you know, James and uh, instead of stealing, like, you know, sporty, high-class muscle cars, you know, he'd be, like, stealing, like, goofy Yugos and stuff like that and Volkswagen <laughs> Golfs and Rabbits and stuff like that, you know? And at the end, he'd just kind of, like, pile them all up in the ship and there'd be, like, three Stooges sound effects. <laughs> We're going to deliver these to Otisburg. (laughs) And, you know, but if you wanted to turn it into a movie, uh, you would completely scrap the script, probably the title, uh, leave in some of the cars and, you know, have it be a Michael Mann movie with almost no dialogue. I think that would have vastly improved everything. That really would have, you know. You could probably still have Cage, although, you know, it'd be better if you did it in the late 70s and had Ryan O'Neal. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. Linda. Uh, I was going to let you go first. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> well, allow moi. I would keep Nick Cage as Randall Rains. Okay. And this is kind of because the movie was an all-star cast, I'm kind of doing the same. Uh, Kip Rains would be Dana Carvey. All right. Oda, Hall- Hall- Oda Hallowell would be John Lovitz. <laughs> Sarah Wayland would be Holly Hunter. Ooh. Detective Roland hey. would be Ving Rames. Yeah, right. Detective Drykoff would be Randall Craig Cobb. Oh my God. Raymond Calatry would be John Malkovich. The Sphinx hey. would be Vin Diesel as Groot. He literally would just keep saying, I am Groot. <laughs> Donnie would be John Goodman. Freb would be William Forsyth. <laughs> and Mirror Man would be Dave Chappelle. We would have a whole cast of people from Cage Films, and it would also be directed by the Coen brothers. Cage reunion! Yay! Yay. Yes. <laughs> Everyone's a I'm winner. I'm here for it. <laughs> a winner is you. That's right. Um, I wanted to make up for that uh, shitty Asian women can't drive joke, because um, that just left a bad taste in my mouth, so I'm going to fix it. Uh, as Memphis reigns, I'm putting Keanu. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, as Sway, I figured Sway's just there to be um, to be the hot chick that's into cars. So I'm gonna put Lucy Liu. Um, as Detective Castlebeck, uh, I'm putting my man B.D. Wong. And uh, then I'm going to make the uh, the villain uh, Raymond Kalitri. Um, I'm gonna make him. Uh, I'm I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go with a white actor. I'm gonna go uh, the Goots. Yeah. No Sandra oh, oh, I feel good about this. What's I that? No Sandra O. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> well, she could be Kalitri if she wants. <laughs> she could be the Sphinx. Don't tell her she can't be Kalitri. <laughs> <laughs> she could be whatever the fuck she wants to be in my world. You think a black man can't be a black woman? <laughs> <laughs> so, did you were you guys able to find any sort of wisdom in this uh, shit heap? Uh, uh, well, we 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 had some earlier. Like, oh, I'm committing grand theft. Maybe I shouldn't draw attention to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, also, uh, I, I'm committing grand theft of expensive objects uh, that, that are supposed to be delivered intact. Mm. Maybe I shouldn't smash them into other vehicles. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I did learn that any kind of crime, whether you're stealing a mom's minivan through suburbia or if you happen to be a group of black youths in a car where the front end of your car is ripped out by another truck, that the first thing a police officer should do in both cases is pull a gun out. Yeah, they were supposed to be neighborhood security, yet they're putting bullets into the car, like, immediately. Yeah, they what were. The it's like they, they were stole just that car. Are you supposed to bring it back in one piece, you dumb <laughs> shit? You know what we tr- windshield replacement costs? They're literally, like, playing Grand Theft Auto, where you just beat the shit they, out of the car. Really and they just should have had a star counter better. in the corner of the screen the whole movie, you know? And at the end, yeah, just five yeah. stars, mm. you know? Crimes. Would you like to continue? <laughs> Would you like to continue? <laughs> uh, um, Donnie, were you? Oh, oh, wait, no. <laughs> I, I gave I'm... my wisdom whore. Look, look, look. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I might be a couple wines in, <laughs> so <laughs> just, just, just bear with me here, motherfucker. I, I think the um, wisdom is don't watch and, any movie called Gone in sixty seconds. Yeah. I would also like to say. Again, 
pussy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gee whiz, I For think all some of... folks missed that. Maybe, maybe you should say it again. <laughs> <laughs> I should really take my pop filter off for that. <laughs> p- p- pussy. <laughs> um, no doubt you're my referring wisdom to I the found. Uh, Harry Nilsson, John Lennon album. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> obviously. Um, my wisdom was sometimes you have to do what you can to take care of family. Hmm. And, and, uh, and, yeah. and sometimes you've got to just glide. <laughs> gotta glide. <laughs> And sometimes it's better when a man is only in your life for 60 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Look. <laughs> I'm a little tired. I'm a little wired. <laughs> and I think I deserve a little appreciation. <laughs> if the movie had been a vine, it might have been just, you know, you know that might have worked, you know, just like nine seconds. It movie. could be better as a TikTok video. <laughs> I really wish, because I, okay, this is this is really fucking dumb. I know. But I, I when I, it's this, this being the first time I've watched it, I was expecting them to have to steal cars within 60 seconds. Yeah. But, uh, there was no, there, there, there was no minute limit there. Yeah. And maybe and they go from get people in the theater. 60 miles an hour faster than that. So that's true. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, in the original, so, they, 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 uh, they, they have the, they have the, the signs. Like if you, if you leave your car unlocked, it will be gone within 60 seconds. Yeah. Right. Oh, um, there's a little more wisdom. I, I found that you can distract cops by making a, a Barbie doll dance to yeah, Brick, Brick House. House. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's yeah, just, right. You just, just need a Barbie just doll. Just pretend you're a pimp and be like, I, I got a major page of me right now. Uh, I ain't got time for this. <laughs> All so pimps you're welcome, carry a Barbie, Barbie doll. <laughs> <laughs> the more you know. Yeah. They, 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 they have Giovanni Ribisi going there and pretend to be the pimp. It had to be Mirror Man. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Even though Giovanni Ribisi, he looks like a trailer park pimp in this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. No, I, he, he plays white trash so fucking well. Like, I, I, I don't know. This this might be the worst movie I saw this week, but I also did watch Pumpkinhead 2 Blood Wings. And so it's kind of next. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, you don't mess with Pumpkinhead. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're it tired was, of living. One perfectly fine movie. Why do you gotta fuck with it? Because... Oh, shout out to Lance Hendrickson. <laughs> yeah, I mean sometimes dead is better. <laughs> <laughs> it's the curse, said Holly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so uh, have a happy spoopy month. Uh, and please, please, please listen, follow, rate, and review Cage's Kiss on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and drink it uh, all the things. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, also check us out on Podchaser. Uh, we are uh, a part of a, a new uh, family of other podcasts, Pod Nation. Shout out to you guys. Uh, it's an awesome, awesome group to be part of. And uh, in Podchaser, we're actually uh, top of the charts in a couple categories. What? Are you, are you yeah, sure that's accurate? Yeah. Last time I checked, uh, we're number six in film. So if you go on there, you follow us, and uh, you rate us, give us a good rating, help us out. We can get uh, even better and get better notice. And, you know, hopefully uh, we can get paid for this shit. We all eventually. Want the yeah. <laughs> hopefully we we'll slip you a 20. <laughs> And uh, if you want your cars boosted, uh... just uh, leave them unlocked <laughs> yeah. like a complete dumbass. Yes. We ain't got Full nothing better heroin. to do. <laughs> you get those laser cut transponder keys. They're like future keys or some shit. They're from Germany. They're like space <laughs> keys. <laughs> that arranged by the but time yes, you please, get out of jail, uh... there aren't going to be cars anymore. People are going to be driving <laughs> spaceships to the moon. <laughs> please help us out. <laughs> By getting your friends and your enemies listening to us and uh, rate and review us on that podchaser.com and on uh, the uh, iTunes, yeah, please, uh, or Apple Podcasts, whatever the hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, remember, you can always find us on uh, Facebook and on Twitter on at Cages Kiss. Uh, you can go to our website at cageskiss.com and you can write to us at cageskiss at gmail.com. And the armed forces are and- finding us on Guantanamo Bay. It's true. Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> Guantanamo. Um, I don't know 
know why. The more I drink, the more singy I get. Um, I would like to give some shout outs to some people who gave us amazing reviews, including Ali Soros, uh, our friends over at Demi World. Uh, oh my God, I'm going to try this. Okay. Uh, Ked Mumu, uh, the WSWW podcast. That's a uh, What Should We Watch? And uh, For Your Ref Pod, uh, Drinkopedia. Uh, both of those guys have been like friends of ours since the beginning. Yeah. Bottom of the stream, we love you, Matt Watson. Uh, Eat pop culture better than Robin Hood? Question uh, mark. Matt and special character, thank you so very fucking much for for helping us out. We can use all the help we can get. And uh, to Wanda. <laughs> to Wanda. To Wanda. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, at one point Adrian and I decided that uh, Al Pacino should have been in Fried Green Tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> To Wanda. <laughs> to Wanda. <laughs> uh, if that had happened instead so of Godfather Adrian... Part 3, I think we all would have been spared. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Adrian, you got any plugs? Oh, good lord. Well, you know, you can still find me over on the YouTube as A.A. Smith, and I'm still fucking away uh, at the DeviantArt as Leo the Fox, and I'm putting some of my Cages Kiss art up there these days. So uh, go and you know give some give some faves to that you know support my shit. It's fucking amazing. And I have a Patreon. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out his Patreon. Just do it. And um, we're gonna try to get our Patreon going soon uh, with our first bonus episode and with uh, stickers featuring Adrian's awesome art. Oh. Adrian, you got anything else? What? What? I got a cold. Cool, cool, cool. Donnie. <laughs> I found Jesus. Oh. Butt plugs. I'm They're sorry. over at Castle Megastore. <laughs> I'm oh. still the boy who blew on Red Tube. I'm still Unreal Goals on the Twitter. And it's spoopy out there, so beware Madman Mars. <laughs> Would those be the buddy Jesus plugs? I mean, no. I don't see getting to be He's more of a buddy than that. Out. You know, that's an opportunity. I mean, he is your friend, but... <laughs> It's he a good saves. way to get some religion in you, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. And uh, we will be seeing you next week with the family man. Until then, we will be having sex with cars. And, and beware of Mario Man Mars. <laughs> man Mars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and I shot uh I shot uh God James Conn's kid. Damn you. <laughs> Oh, you didn't shoot a kid. You just threw a brick through him. <laughs> I am going to fucking start singing if we start shooting more fucking kids. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I swear to God. Got fucked on national TV. <laughs> Is this like Candyman? Is your singing like Candyman? Like, I shot a kid. I shot a kid. I shot a kid. <laughs> oh, you could just uh, make, make this movie soundtrack out of that. I guess I didn't know. I shot a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Sing for me, Donnie. <laughs> uh, you have a button and you get the soundtrack. It's kind of uncanny. I could eat a page for hours. Please.